Rescue Island. I studied marine biology at university. I've been working with marine mammals all around the globe for the last 10 years. Today I'm going to answer some questions about seals for you. What's the lifespan of a seal? It uh, really depends on the species. There are 33 different types of species of seals, sea lions and walruses called pinnipeds all around the globe. Uh, these guys on average have got mainly the grey seals in right now, around 20 to 30 years depending on um, the individual. Uh, we're often asked as uh, in the animal care industry where do animals live longer in the wild or in captivity and I don't think there's an answer for either of them for most species, it just comes down to the individual. It depends on their lifestyle, depends on genetics, um, but for these guys we'd expect for the grey seals to live between 20 to 30 years. The grey seals care for their young for about three weeks only, which is really, really short compared to a lot of other marine mammals. Their mother's milk is really, really rich in fat and that's how they can grow so quickly. Uh, they'll be weaned at about three weeks old, um, which means they'll stop drinking their mum's milk and then hopefully they'll learn to eat fish very quickly. They won't necessarily have no contact with their mums as from three weeks, they, they might still be around in the areas, but they will be weaned. Seals are from the group of animals we call piscivores, which means they simply eat fish and squid. So primarily these guys will just eat fish. Do seals mate for life? No. They do not. They're pretty promiscuous and, and basically uh, it is a natural selection. So the strongest of the individuals, particularly of the males, they'll choose their females and they want the best genes to survive. Uh, those flippers, in brackets arms, look pretty heavy. How strong are they? Could a seal knock you down if it backhands you? In theory, yes. I haven't seen many seals backhand people. Uh, the true seals, which are all of these guys like the grey seals, you can see their flippers are quite small. They've got the same bone structure inside as our hands. So if you took an x-ray of a seal's flipper and an x-ray of our hand, it does look pretty similar. Um, they don't really have great strength though, the true seals. Sea lions have longer flippers and stronger flippers and they use them to be able to propel themselves through the water, whereas the true seals pretty small flippers, they couldn't really do too much damage. If they did manage to backhand you, it wouldn't be too bad. But then you wouldn't want to be that close to a seal to allow it to backhand you in the first place. I'd be more concerned about what's inside its mouth. These guys have a lovely set of teeth, normally around um, between 30 to 40 teeth inside their mouth, and they have a pretty impressive bite pressure. So for sure, I wouldn't be that close to allow them to do that. How much time do seals spend in the water versus out of it? It's really common to see seals hauled out, particularly on a nice sunny day to warm up. Um, depending on the type of seals, these guys though can be found in colonies found around Ireland and around the whole of the UK. How much do seals sleep? They do sleep quite a lot. At least you will see them uh, supposedly sleeping when they see them hauled out. It does look like they have to spend more time sleeping, um, simply because you don't often see them that long in the water. They're obviously harder to find in the water, so when you do see them out on the beach, they do often look like they're resting and sleeping. So they do get a bit of a lazy name for themselves. Do seals respond well to being hugged? <laughs> uh, wild seals, definitely not. You'll only do it once if you're gonna do that. So I would really recommend with wild animals, all wild animals, not just seals, don't go up hugging them. Uh, if the sea lion or seal has been trained, is in an, an environment where it's used to people and human interaction, that's a different story. But all the animals here, they are going back out to the ocean, so don't hug seals. <laughs>
just dogs of the sea. They are often called dogs of the sea. Um, they do look a lot dog-like, and I think that's why they get their name. Here at the centre, we get two different types of seals in. We get the grey seals, as well as the common seals, which are both routinely found around Ireland. And they do say that the common seals look a bit more cat-like, and the grey seals look a little bit more dog-like. So I think that's where um, a lot of people do associate seals and sea lions with being like puppy dogs. However, they are nowhere near as friendly and it's really important that you always keep your distance. If you do see a sick or injured animal on the beach, whether it be a seal um, or any animal really, keep a distance first of all, watch it from afar, uh, and make sure any dogs as well are restrained and nowhere near the animals. Particularly dogs and seals are not a good mix. They can transport um, uh, diseases from each other as well, so it's very important that you don't let your dogs in. If there's a seal on the beach, keep them well back. Obviously children as well, don't let them get too close to the seals. Um, one of the biggest things is phoning somebody who knows what they're looking for and knows what they're talking about. So Seal Rescue Island here in Ireland is a great one to call. We have got a base of volunteers, around 200 volunteers around the whole of Ireland. Um, and we often, when we do get a phone call, we ask people to take a photo for us um, and then hopefully we can get a little bit more information about the scenario and the situation and see if the animal needs to come into care or whether it can in fact heal itself or if it's even under the weather at all. There are really clear signs to see if the animal does need help or not and we're trained to assess those um, as marine mammal stranding coordinators here at the park. Um, at the centre it's really important that you get somebody who knows what they're doing and you don't just go up there and hug the seal for example. <laughs> Make it feel better, give it a blanket, it doesn't really work quite like that. Am I familiar with the Selkie legend? I'm not that familiar with it I must admit. I've um, only been in Ireland for... 10 days now, so um, yeah, definitely one to learn about. I'll look forward to reading the book and finding out a bit more. <laughs>